IB, chapter 18, section A and B, random variables. Let's start, first of all, um, with the key vocabulary. A random variable is a quantity whose value depends on chance, like a dice, coin, or counters in a bag. Random variables are often represented by a capital letter, such as X. A probability distribution, often in the form of a table, is when you list the possible outcome of an event, such as a sample space, with their associated probabilities. So, for example, a bag of numbered counters, which you can see here, there are 10 counters. Let X be the random variable, the outcome of choosing a numbered counter. So I'm going to pull a counter out of the bag. I can represent this as a table. So X is choosing a numbered counter. So X will be the choosing numbered counter, and these outcomes can be 1, 2, 3, and 4. There are 10 counters, one of which is a 1, so that's 1 out of 10, 0 0.1. There are four twos, so 4 out of 10, 0 0.4. There are two threes, 2 out of 10, 0 0.2. And there are three fours, so that's 3 out of 10, 0 0.3. So the probability of choosing a counter x that is equal to one of these values of these probability. The total of the probabilities in a probability distribution must always equal 1. So you can see if I add together 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3, that will be equal to 1. We can also calculate the expected value. The expected value of a random variable is the average value you would get if you repeatedly remeasure the variable an infinite number of times. So if you were to pull out an infinite number of counters, the expected value is the average value you'd expect to see. From the standard level IB formula booklet, it shows you that the um, E of X, so the expected value, is equal to the sum of X, P of X equals X. So let's put that together. So the sum of x times the probability, so 1 times 0 0.1, add 2 times 0 0.4, add 3 times 0 0.2, add 4 times 0 0.3. So that gives you 0 0.1, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and 1.2, which when you add it all together is 2.7. You can check to see if that makes sense. I have more numbers that are higher, I only have one one. So I would expect it to be possibly around about here, so 2.7 is a really good value. I would imagine that I'm correct. Obviously, if I had a, an answer that was like 5, then I know I've gone wrong. So let's do a kind of an exam example. So you might be given a table. Um, I'll say with the counters 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and they'll give you the probability in forms of the letter K. So the probability of X being equal to X is 2K, 5K, 3K, and 2K. Part A says find K, and part B find, find the expected value E to the X. So part A, find K. I said earlier that the total of the probabilities in a probability distribution, this table, must always be equal to 1. So all of these numbers here must be equal to 1. So 2K add 5K add 3K add 2K equals 1. So that makes 12k altogether equal to 1. So k must be equal to a 12. Part B. Find the expected value e of x. So we know that k is equal to a 12. So we'll need to populate our table with that information. So uh, 2k will give us 2 twelfths. 5k will give us 5 twelfths. 3k will give us 3 twelfths. And 2k will give us 2 twelfths. Take the formula for the expected value. So we need to do 1 times 2 twelfths, 2 times 5 twelfths, 3 times 3 twelfths, 4 times 2 twelfths, and add those together. So that'll give you 2 twelfths, 10 twelfths, 9 twelfths, and 8 twelfths, which we can add together to be 29 over 12. 